Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you all of my empties from almost a year. It's not every single thing, but I've thrown a ton of stuff in this um, bin, bucket, bin. Um, I know I'm looking a little crazy today. I crimped my hair. I put pink eye makeup on. Like, who is she? I don't know. I was just feeling fun and festive for no apparent reason, but... um. This is all going to be totally random. It's all makeup and skincare, but it's not going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to pick things out of the bucket and let you know. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and let's go. All right, so maybe I'll start with the biggest things and then go from there. So this is a Goldwell Blondes and Highlights shampoo. I don't like it. I'm not repurchasing it, so wouldn't recommend it it's like super it's not super purple like it's not dark dark purple if you can see it's like a light lavender and I just feel like it honestly didn't do anything for my hair um I use the matrix purple shampoo now which is insane it works so well um so I'm just gonna stick with that and I'm not repurchasing this guy and he's pretty expensive all right, we have the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and this is with the Intense Hydration. I definitely like this. Um, I don't really know. I tried First Aid Beauty. I had this one, and then the is the other one in here? No, I think I threw that one away. Um, it was it was just this, but not Intense Hydration. Um, and I don't know. I'm like super picky when it comes to moisturizers, and like they were fine, but not like life changing. So I don't know. I'm I'm probably not going to repurchase this, but it wasn't bad. Like I know a lot of people like First Aid Beauty. Um, I don't know. It was like okay. I went through the whole thing. It's all gone. Can you see? There ain't nothing left in there, but you know. All right, this. Okay, this isn't. This was used once. This is awful from the self tanner queen herself don't get this i don't know what's going on wait did i use the wrong side wait did i use the wrong side wait did i use the wrong side <gasps> what wait is this the side you use <laughs> no I just realized I was using the wrong side. Wait a second. I was using this side and it did nothing. Oh, you used this side. <gasps> that is so embarrassing and so stupid of me. Oh my God, disregard everything I just said because I'll use this because it's a mitt. Oh my gosh, I thought that it was some like fancy new like thing with this side but this is just the side the side you don't use oh my god disregard everyone please don't tell anyone that just happened oh my god okay moving on good to know you learn something new every day this i will be repurchasing this is a moisturizer by pacifica i've talked about this before it's the kale Lux oil free multi-cream um with kale lime and pearls and i I like this like I like this for night I like it for under my makeup I I really do like this and it's only $12 but it doesn't last me that long I get this at Ulta um, I'm also gonna link everything just in case you want to check anything out I'll link everything I talk about um, good or bad if you want to check it out I don't know um, it's 100% vegan and cruelty free so I'm definitely gonna get another one of these I'm actually like completely out of most of my moisturizers so I need to get on that. Okay, next is this Oribe Dry Texturizing Spray. I really like this. This smells incredible. I got this like in one of those, like, um, what did I have last year? Did I have the Birch Box? I think I had Birch Box. Um, and 
it's great. It's great for like looks like this or curls or big like voluptuous. Um, it's definitely not for like just like a plain straight hair look. It's definitely for something that you want to have texture and vavoom and it really, really works. Um, you just like kind of hold your hair up and spray it up. And I will definitely, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. I'm going to miss it. Maybe I will. Um, if they smell, if they smell, <laughs> if they sell the mini size. But um, this was awesome and I would recommend it. All right, and then we have my Sally Hansen airbrush legs. I've talked about this before. This stuff is awesome. It's literally body makeup. I get it in deep, which is like super tan, uh, but it's awesome. I already have another one. This one's just empty and I will keep repurchasing. They're just great to have when you're not self-tanned or if you're blotchy or... Um, I brought this, I've talked about this before, but I brought this when I was a bridesmaid in a wedding um, for any of the girls that needed like a quick fix of their self-tan. One of the girls actually had uh, like a sunburn, was like peeling on her shoulder, so I just tapped some of this on and it works awesome. So it is a lit like body makeup, it will just wash right off with soap and it will like rub off on things, but it's awesome. Well, this is embarrassing, like why am I even showing this? So I did an empties video about a year ago and I talk about how I literally like I th what was that video on TLC about the people that like are like extreme coupon no not extreme couponers like just extremely cheap people that were like literally cut their toothpaste and use their that's me like I got this little sample tart um this the poreless primer first off I'm not gonna repurchase this didn't like it it was literally just like silicone and like I don't know it kind of like balled up. I don't know. I don't like it. But you know Hoochie Mama was um, digging to the bottom of this and cutting it open. So I don't play. I use the bottom of the barrel <laughs> of all my products. Um, but not repurchasing. Don't recommend. I have like big pores on my skin and this doesn't do the job. I will be repurchasing this Peach Perfect Foundation in sand, gorgeous, beautiful, medium coverage, buildable, skin-like, like a semi-matte finish, gorgeous, definitely repurchasing this, um, that's on my list of things to do, I need to make an Ulta order. Another foundation that I will be, I actually have one, so I, but I will repurchase it anyways after that one's out. Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. If you want to look like a airbrushed goddess, poreless, beautiful princess, this is the foundation. Like if you need a foundation for your wedding or for prom or like a special event, even though I like wear this on the norm, um, this is it. Like, it's completely full coverage. It's not moving. It's not budging. It makes your skin look great. Um, definitely take a light hand with it. Like, you only need one layer. It's super full coverage. Um, this was the color 34 Beige Medium, and it was kind of weird. I got a darker color. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but there's a million colors to choose from. Highly recommend. Okay, this is random. Why is this in here? Oh, I thought I would just like quickly talk. This is like a baby thing or a child, kid, whatever. Um, ben broke out, my two-year-old broke out with a allergic reaction from an antibiotic. And um, their skin gets super dry. Both of my boys get super dry skin in the winter. And these oatmeal baths have been awesome. So I just wanted to recommend them. If you need some kind of soothing for your little baby skin, um, they just come in packets and you just throw them in the tub and the tub gets all like muddy looking, but whatever, they work awesome. Another one that I'm definitely going to repurchase, I've talked about a lot, I won't go on and on about it. This foundation is unbelievable. It's literally like $5. You can get it anywhere, Walmart, Target, the grocery store, well maybe not the grocery, actually maybe, um, CVS, anywhere. It's awesome, it's beautiful. I would wear this at a wedding, like it's, pretty much as good as the Marc Jacobs honestly if not like totally comparable and um it kind of smells like <laughs> like paint thinner a little bit but it's fine like everything's fine um so yeah a ton of colors get this if you haven't tried it you're missing out the fit me the fit me what am I saying uh, the fit me 
concealer i don't know i don't like this don't get it i don't know people talk about this all the time like no no like i don't like it it doesn't cover like unless you have no under eye bags and no dark under eyes then use this but if you have dark under eyes like i do don't use this <laughs> like not repurchasing but like people love it so don't listen to me if you like it sorry i don't know but i don't like it okay um why is this in here this is like so old because like i haven't done one of these in a year um this is the pore and clogging scrub by biore i don't really know it's good exfoliant i guess um but I found a new exfoliant that I'll talk about in my skincare routine, but, um, I don't know, maybe I'd repurchase it, like, if I needed an exfoliant, it's good, and it's really, um, cooling on your skin, it feels good, so I, it's not, like, horrible, um, I feel like it definitely cleared out the pores, but, I don't know, I'm not, like, living, breathing, dying for it, but, like, I'd repurchase, you know. This mascara, I don't know if anyone follows emily and gemma gemma on instagram she's like a fashion blogger and she has like crazy long eyelashes i think they're extensions but i don't know they look really nice sometimes they look a little chunky but most of the time they look really good um and she recommended this and she says she doesn't like the mascara side of it but she likes the primer side of it and like i have little like minuscule straight eyelashes like they're awful they're embarrassing and like so I tried this and I didn't like it the white like stayed on and then they were like chunky and they didn't even make them look longer and this isn't even like I'm just throwing this away I don't know like I didn't like it double extend L'Oreal double extend step one step two um yeah I'm all set like I don't know wouldn't recommend unless you have like beautiful long eyelashes that need that little pick-me-up but like mine are little dweeby bedeebies that just need like fake eyelashes on you know there's like no helping them okay moving on oh this is super old too this is from like last year so a little story behind this is uh Huda Beauty had talked about this like years ago and I got a gift card from Christmas last year I think um, and I ordered this. This is like over $100. It's the Institute Estoderm Paris EVE Serum. So she talked about this and said that it was like it literally has this like crazy technology behind it and it's like literally a double skin um for scarring and that it will like literally grow your skin and like make your scars go away and she was so convincing and like you have to get this and her husband had a scar and they put it on it for two weeks and it like went away and it was a miracle that's all bullcrap i don't know if she was getting paid to say that or what the deal was but this didn't do shi and it was over a hundred dollars and my broke ass was like i need to get this it's gonna fix my scars no um i don't know where in the heck i ordered this from but i'm not getting it again and don't get this like it literally did nothing nothing i used it every single night for like months until it ran out don't get it. Such a scam. <sighs> oh my god. I'm like getting, I'm like out of breath talking so fast. So we have the Milani Soleil Baked Bronzer in number five. This is something I live, breathe, and die for. Absolutely gorgeous bronzer. It's completely gone, like down to the little squares. Um, gorgeous. It has a little shimmer, sparkle, like bronze goddess look. Love. I already have another one. This Clinique Make a Difference Rejuvenating Treatment. It's like a gel moisturizer. I really like this. Really enjoyed it. It smells super good. Um, I also use this till the last drop. Mm, it smells super good, like organic smelling. Um, if I find this again, I'll definitely pick it up. I, I truly liked this for at night if I wasn't doing like a intense hydration um, and under my makeup. It did awesome, so very light and but definitely hydrated it's moisturizer from the ordinary it's the natural moisturizing factors in ha blah like i don't know i'm not repurchasing it i don't know what it did nothing hmm. don't get this i mean like i don't know get it but like me and moisturizers i don't know i don't get it like it didn't do anything this covergirl waterproof mascara i don't really know it dried out really fast 
Why am I smelling everything? That smells like paint. I don't know, like wouldn't repurchase. There's better mascaras. Okay. And lastly, we have the NARS, what is this, like the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Love this. Definitely need to get me another one of these. Um, this was in the color Medium for Barcelona. Super lightweight, beautiful coverage, beautiful finish. Um, and I wish, like, I was literally taking this out and, like, scraping the, like, stick, the stick, the pump. And like putting it on my face but there's none left um definitely recommend this is beautiful all right everyone that is it for me today and my crazy hair i hope um like i don't know what's happening like is this a vibe thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time what thumbs up you better